Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Disaster, Boris took Sturgeon to court with the SNP's bad policy. The horror show that is the Declaration of Independence. Scotland, according to Sturgeon, would see an average bill increase of $250 under the SNP's plan. A new pro-union analysis warns that leaving the UK implies slashing all of Scotland's continuing energy subsidies, which may have a significant effect on energy costs. Many people think, this may be so but the ideology cult who follow her won't believe it. They still believe she will give them independence even after the PM has said numerous times he won't, or when she threatened to take WM to court to get it, then recently declared on a TV interview she would not be going to court. They have been too indoctrinated by her cult behavior. On the other hand, anyone who follows Sturgeon must by now have grasped one very important fact. She does not do facts, figures or inconvenient details. She does love percentages, worked out by someone else. Projections are good. Well who can query them, after all they are only guesses. No, the Sturgeon leaves all that to her minions. She is the leader you know. Trouble is, she's hopeless at that too. In a recent speech, Mr Taylor said, various subsidy mechanisms top up, or guarantee, the price at which output can be sold to a level with an adequate return. The costs of these subsidies are socialized across all GB bill pairs. Many Twitter users say, I can tell you one thing. When Sturgeon sees the end of her reign coming, you can bet your house on it that her and Forbes will ask Gordon Brown how did he word his note when losing the election to the Tories which said, there is no money left, as she swans off to Portugal with suitcases full of the stuff. Where's the money Sturgeon? Others say, Scottish folk should realise that your leader's figure of £250 is just to ease you into the real figure of more like £2,500 per household. Like all politicians, she too is prone to a few porkies when it suits her. Scotland's purchasing power would plummet by $250 a year if it left the UK, according to Sam Taylor, chief executive of the pro-union research group These Islands. Electricity rates in an independent Scotland are expected to rise by roughly 35%, or an additional £250 per year, according to the most recent study from These Islands, an island group. Energy exports to England and Wales are now receiving large net subsidies and assistance from Scotland, according to the organisation. According to a recent analysis, typical incoherent nonsense from Sturgeon just to keep her nationalist sheep on board. The SNP has been in power for the past 14 years but cannot produce a feasible economic case for independence. No surprise their 2016 Sustainable Economic Growth Commission report says everything. Decades of economic austerity leading to higher taxes and deep cuts to public services, Wilson its co-author has admitted it could take 20 years to establish our own currency and central bank. Without which Scotland could not print money or borrow on the international market. Scotland has a massive 36.3 billion deficit 22.4% of GDP which would have to be reduced to 3% to meet EU entry requirements. No wonder nationalists never talk about the economic consequences of independence. Everything would cost more and a fledgling Scottish currency would be devalued 25-40% to 40 against sterling. Wealth creators and businesses would leave.